So Kevin continues to dig himself deeper and deeper with these attempts to try and prove to his audience uh, that he's not a drunk, that he's not an alcoholic. And I do think that Kevin is an alcoholic. Uh, Kevin has showed time and time again that he has a problem with alcohol. He went on another YouTuber's channel and admitted that he drinks to uh, help with his massive anxiety problems. He, he drinks pretty much every day. He admitted to that in an interview, right? That's not something that normal people do. Normal people do not have to drink to deal with their anxiety problems. Kevin has admitted to that. He's shown us multiple times he drinks on camera. In this video we're gonna go over today, we're not gonna go over the whole thing, just go over a few clips. He shows himself drinking two shots in this video and somehow he thinks this proves that he was not drunk. It's just, it doesn't make any sense at all. But I, I have this sheet up over here, right? Uh, so denial and alcohol use disorder and all the different steps, all the different stages that someone who is in denial will go about if they're an alcoholic. There's lying, which Kevin does in this video. I'll break down one of the lies he gives in the video. There's blaming. Kevin constantly does this. He blames the police department. Uh, the police, he says, you know, the police didn't give me a blood test. They just said, use the breathalyzer, and I wanted a blood test. So it's all the police's fault, guys. You should, you should not listen to what they're saying, right? There's comparing. He does that in this video. He compares himself to Nancy Pelosi's husband, who also got a DUI, and how basically he was treated very nicely, and he got like, he basically didn't have to go to prison at all or serve any time. Uh, and his uh, DUI footage just magically disappeared while Kevin's is on the internet. So, you know, he's comparing himself to that. There's rationalizing. He constantly says, you know, guys, I wasn't drinking. I just had a couple drinks. No big deal. I'm safe to safe to drive. And dismissing again, same thing. He's just like, I was not drunk. I know, how, I know, you know, I know I wasn't drunk, so I was allowed to drive. He constantly goes through all these stages. So again, in my opinion, I do think that Kevin is an alcoholic, and I know Kevin will watch this video. He watches every video uh, made about him. So Kevin, when when you see this, you do you have a problem with alcohol, and you need to get that checked out. I, I really like. At first, it was kind of funny making these videos about Kevin. At this point, it's it's just sad. Like he clearly has a problem with alcohol. And you got to get that dealt with, Kevin. That's something you need to deal with. Okay, so this video he posted two days ago. And originally when he put it up, it had a different title. He said, Why I Was Not Drunk, the DUI situation. He put that up, uh, got a bunch of backlash. So he made the video private, changed the title, and then made it public again. So now it says, I deleted this about the Meet Kevin DUI, leaving this for PSA, don't drink and drive. Now in this video again, it's 19 minutes, we won't watch the whole thing, we're gonna skip around quite a bit, but I wanna show you several things that just do not make any sense at all in this video. And again, this is another desperate attempt uh, by Meet Kevin to change the narrative to try and get people to say, try and get people on his side and be like, oh, you were not drunk, Kevin. This is the third time he's done this. He originally released a, a video which had some of the DUI footage, and the, in the entire video, he was bashing the cops and be like, oh, this is so stupid. I shouldn't be in trouble at all. And his entire audience turned on him. All the comment section were being like, Kevin, this video makes you look terrible. So he actually deleted that original video, and then a couple weeks ago, he uploaded another video where basically he stole the uh, DUI footage from my channel re-uploaded it and took out all the parts that made him look really, really drunk in the video. So he edited the video to make himself look better. Uh, so, you know, it's not true to what actually shows in the video. And now this is the third attempt that he's doing it. So he starts out bro blowing into a breathalyzer uh, just to make sure it's working. And then he takes two shots and then he blows into it again. So let's take a look at that part. This is a blood alcohol concentration measuring device, also known as a breathalyzer device. These devices have been known to have a very terrible reputation for many of the decades, ever since they came out. All right, so he's trying to set up that these things are inaccurate as to why he refused to take this. In the DUI video, it's on my channel if you want to take a look. He refused to take the breath test. The officer says, you know, take it now. Uh, before he arrested him, they take him to the uh, police headquarters. They ask him again to take it. He refuses it. He says, I only want to take a blood test. Uh, so he's trying to set this up. These things are incredibly inaccurate. But as you see later in the video, he says, these things are actually very accurate, and I was wrong about that. Uh, so I don't know why he's doing this at all. They were either deemed to be rigged by law enforcement departments to lead to more DUI convictions, and they've just been deemed to be inaccurate due to a lack of calibration or rigging or whatever. That's why 
Studies exist today that show historically up to 50% of DUI arrests are based on breathalyzer results that are potentially off by 50%. So, you know, Kevin, uh, it would be great if you could actually show that on the screen, uh, have a link below, which he does not, a link to showing you, you know, your actual evidence that you're saying 50% are wrong. He doesn't provide any evidence to that. He just says that in the video. If you want people to believe you, you believe that 50% of cases are wrong, provide evidence supporting your idiotic claims, and you do not do that. That's a big number because that could mean a conviction or not. And so when I was a law enforcement explorer for about three and a half years, I always learned never take the breathalyzer, always request blood. Unfortunately, I was a law enforcement explorer about 14 years ago, and my memory hasn't been the best over the last 14 years. So when, choi or, or when faced with the question, hey, should you blow or should you request blood? Well, that depends on your state. And unfortunately, it depends on laws that I think everybody should familiarize themselves with. But let me tell you this. No matter what decision you make, and I'll give you my opinion on, on what I would do in the future if I was ever in a situation where I was pulled over uh, and in a situation where I had to uh, submit to some sort of sobriety examination. I guarantee you Kevin's probably going to be in that situation again at some point because, like I said, Kevin is an alcoholic. He drinks all the time. And in no part in this video does he ever say, you know, you shouldn't drink and drive. He actually says, just make sure you're under the legal limit when you drive. So Kevin's continuing to do this terrible behavior of having a few shots and then going out driving. He just makes sure he has his breathalyzer first that shows he's under the limit. I'll tell you what I would do towards the end of the video. But what I actually want to do here is I want to open up this bottle. I don't want anybody to think it's like Diet Coke or something. This is a uh, fresh bottle of uh, Jack Daniels, uh, hashtag not sponsored. It's uh, Jack Daniels, what is that, Tennessee Apple. I believe that says 35% down there. So a 70 proof alcohol. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna break the rules of the breathalyzer. We're gonna take a two shots of this. Let's do this twice, shall we? Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I've, I don't think I've tried that before. We're gonna do two on purpose, just for purposes of the test. Oh man, I wish I had a chaser, but I don't. Now, oh, the second one's always the roughest. We're gonna do this live. Well, it's a recorded video, but my goal is to do this without any edits. Because here's the thing, I wanna measure my blood alcohol content probably in about 10 minutes. You should leave about 20 minutes before you use a device like this. Okay, so I skipped ahead 10 minutes. This is where he takes the breath Eliza test, again, to show what his blood alcohol level is. Uh, let's take a look at this part. So you kind of just push the button. It's only been 10 minutes. The instructions say, wait 20 minutes. So we are breaking that time. So there could be some residual in my breath, right? But I didn't know this either, but apparently some of the modern breathalyzers actually try to remove what's in your breath. So after two, remember the legal limit is 0.08. After two drinks, we sit uh, at, at, and 10 minutes. So two drinks, 10 minutes, and uh, it looks like it's uh, it's taking its uh, sweet time here. So it's doing some, oh, look at that, 0.01, 0.019. I mean, that's almost like 0.02. <laughs> uh, but anyway, technically, this is completely legal to drive. Now, that's not saying you should because you could deal with the damn process, which sucks. Okay, so a couple things that don't really make sense. This whole portion, what I think Kevin was trying to show, and I'll bring up the blood alcohol level chart right here. This is over here. Kevin has lost a lot of weight. I think he said he's about 120 pounds right now. So what Kevin, I think what Kevin was trying to do with the video was take the two shots and show that he was uh, over the limit to legally drive, but also show that in the video, you know, he's acting normally, he's talking normally to show that, you know, it just doesn't really make sense what is actually going on. Because if you take two shots right here, if you're a male, uh, you should be at 0.10. So that would be over the limit. And Kevin shows that he's just a 0 0.02 basically in the video. There's no real reason why he does this. It's just, it's just so weird. There are so many comments of people being like, why did you do this? This makes no sense at all. Now, another thing that he mentions is like, 
he says, you know, I'm under the limit, so technically I can drive. And what Kevin doesn't seem to understand, what he says, and he says this multiple times in this video as well as other videos, he constantly says, you know, if you're under the legal limit, if you've had a few drinks but you're under the limit, it's safe to drive, guys. You can do it. And that's simply not true at all. So I have this from a law firm. Uh, we'll go over this. But basically what it is is that a law, the police can actually pull you over and arrest you for a DUI even if you are under the legal limit. And the main reason for that is, is there are a bunch of drugs, both legal and illegal, that will not show up on a blood alcohol test that will make you impaired. They will make you driving under the influence and you're a hazard to other people. So just because you're under the limit, it does not mean that it is safe to drive. So let's take a look at this. There is a long-standing myth that even after you've had a few drinks, if you blow below the legal limit on a breathalyzer test, you won't or can't be arrested or charged with a DUI. Unfortunately, this is wrong. If you were pulled over on the suspicion of driving while intoxicated, even if you blow below the legal limit, the officer can still arrest you and you can still be charged with a DUI. Every state in the United States has a legal blood alcohol limit of 0.08, but most people don't realize that you can blow below the legal limit and still be arrested and even convicted. If the law enforcement officer has reason to believe that you are well impaired and under the influence of alcohol, you will be arrested. Put another way, if law enforcement has probable, probable cause to contact you and you have an alcohol in your system, even if it's well below the legal limit, it is within their right to arrest you if they believe you are impaired. At trial, the prosecutor prosecutor would have to prove that even though you were below the legal limit, you were too impaired by the alcohol in your system to be driving. Evidence presented can be video of you swerving or driving dangerously from the dash cam, statements made at the traffic stop, and your appearance and ability to perform field sobriety tests during the traffic stop. So all of this shows that Kevin can still be convicted even if he was under the legal limit. And the evidence, if you watch the video, again, it's on my channel, the DUI video, it clearly shows, I've talked to multiple people that have no connection to Kevin, just random people uh, through YouTube that I know. And they're all like, yeah, it clearly shows he's wasted in that video. He is absolutely wasted. When they present that video evidence in court, even though they never got the, the breathalyzer test, it's evidence that Kevin was wasted. Kevin's in, it, Kevin is in serious trouble. And I think Kevin knows this. I think Kevin, this is why Kevin continues to try and put out these videos showing, guys, I'm innocent, didn't do anything wrong. Because Kevin is freaking out that he's going to get a DUI on his record, right? He's trying to launch his own uh, his own ETFs on the stock market. He has his own, uh, his own uh, startup he's doing right now, trying to raise $20 million for it. Kevin knows he's in serious trouble, and he wants to try and push the narrative his way. I, unfortunately... Uh, have an allegation against me for DUI. Now, some people are like, Kevin, why don't you just say I got a DUI? Well, because I didn't. Because I'm still in the court process. That That's not true, Kevin. You got a DUI, and you're trying to get it overturned. When you were arrested, you were arrested for DUI. That is what happened. Now, you're trying to go to the court system and be like, hey, this is not true. What they did was wrong. I was not impaired. So you were you were arrested for a DUI. That's that's a fact, Kevin. You were arrested for a DUI. So don't try and play this off so like, oh, nothing really happened. They just, you know, we're just getting the court system. It's not a big deal right now. It is a big deal. You lost your license. Now Kevin has claimed that he got his license back. I can't really confirm that at this point, but you did lose your license for getting the DUI. All that already happened. And I probably shouldn't even be making videos about this kind of stuff, but I've made the determination uh, that the best thing to do is to share as much information as I can with society about what's kind of not a very sexy topic. Look at somebody like Paul Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's husband, whose DUI uh, body cam footage happens, happens to just disappear. But what does happen? You find out that two hours after he was driving, he blew a .09 on a breathalyzer. 0.09, that's over the legal limit of 0.08, and that's... So as I mentioned earlier uh, about, you know, being an alcoholic and all the different signs, uh, dismissal, comparing yourself, right? That's what he's doing. He's comparing, what about uh, Paul Pelosi, guys? He didn't get, you know, he's not getting ravaged like I am. It's just not fair, guys. Al he's an alcoholic. That, that's my opinion. Kevin, you got to get some help. The point is, so I mean, geez, if that's too then I'd have to have four times, I'd have to have eight shots to be at the legal limit. That's insane. And this is where I'm like, dude, like, I'm not going to, 
but legally I can drive now. I don't feel impaired, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, so that is incorrect, like I mentioned before. Uh, you can still get a DUI even if you are under the limit. Uh, it doesn't matter that you don't feel impaired, right? You can still be, most people don't even realize when they're impaired. So you can be swerving, you can be acting erratically, you can not pay attention as much like Kevin did. Uh, if you don't know, Kevin ran right through a stop sign, didn't stop at all, which is why he was initially pulled over. So none of that is true. And Kevin also like breaks the rules. So this like, this isn't even a very good test because the breathalyzer itself says that you need to wait 20 minutes, right? And after drinking alcohol, for many people, it can take like an hour or more because everyone's metabolism is different. So in many people, it can take an hour or more before the alcohol is truly going through your system as opposed to just, just sitting in your stomach. So this is not a very good test. He waited 10 minutes, broke the rules. It's just it's just incredibly stupid that he's trying to use this uh, as an example. Why? Uh, it's okay, right? Just take one of these with you. You can take a couple shots here and there. Just take this before you're driving, and then you're fine. You're under the legal limit. He doesn't understand the law at all. Uh, you can definitely still be arrested for being under the limit. I ran for governor in the state of California, encouraging more police training and more funding for law enforcement because I really respect law enforcement. But I'll tell you what I don't respect. I don't respect being at a police station and requesting a blood draw, which some people are like, oh, you're just trying to milk the clock to try to get it to, uh, uh, to, to like show a lower number. Come on, folks, this is simple math. You just back it up then. You just go, oh, okay, well, you, your blood said 0 0.07, which was an hour and 30 minutes after you were pulled over. Well, let's just back that in. Okay, you were, you know, X, simple. Okay, that's a lie. Uh, that's not how the system works, right? They they can't just like backtrack like, oh, you're a 0 0.02 when we took your blood. So three hours ago when we arrested you, uh, you were drunk then because you were a 0.08. It doesn't work like that. Any, you know, marginally good defense lawyer would get that thrown out because because everyone's, you know, metabolism, like I said, is different. Men, women, you know, height, weight, everything. So everyone is going to metabolize alcohol differently. And they can also make the accusation that somewhere between when they were arrested and three hours later when they had the, the blood taken, you know, maybe they, they got a shot. Maybe they had like a little secret whiskey thing that they uh, took a drink of. I, I know that sounds kind of far-fetched, but a lawyer could poke a bunch of holes into that. That's not something that could actually be used in court. You can't just backtrack. This is what your, when we took the test, this is what your alcohol was. So three hours ago, this is what your alcohol level was. That does not work in court. They have to actually take your blood test or your BAC test within two hours of arresting you. That's the law. So they can't just take it hours later and backtrack. That's so stupid that Kevin would use that as an argument. Come on, guys. He basically thinks his audience is a bunch of stupid people. Come on, guys. They could have just taken it later and then just backtrack. Not true at all. Now, this entire video, like I said, is just Kevin, you know, he, Kevin is desperate to try and get people on his side and try and get this case thrown out. This makes him look terrible. He, Like I said, he, he's trying to get his, his IPO going. He's got his ETFs going. Kevin has massive anxiety problems, and he does not like the fact that anyone thinks that he is a drunk driver. Now, all this could end, Kevin, if you just made a video and just been like, you know, guys, what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to seek some help from my alcohol problems. And that's the end of it. No shifting blame to the police department. No trying to, you know, grasp at straws. I was under the limit. I can, I can legally drive. None of that. Just apologize for what you did and move on. That's all you got to do, Kevin. Um, but there you go. That's, that's my opinion. I'd love to know your opinion. Uh, leave a comment below.